Now, le let's continue our discussion for the results. Each table, graph, figure, etc. may be accompanied with short descriptions on the trends derived from the data analysis conducted. Subsections may be used, especially if multiple distinct tests were conducted. Examples, results from test number one, results from test number two. This part of the research paper may begin with the study determined the blank as prepared with the following tables, graphs, and figures. No discussion should be presented in this part of the research paper. More than 90% of this part shows only tables, graphs, figures, etc. Discussion. This part of the research paper should be treated as the soul of the research paper and not just an accessory part. Most of the related literatures are integrated in this part and not in the introduction. Subsections can also be used, especially if multiple distinct tests were conducted. Examples are the discussion for results in test number one, discussion for results in test number two. This part of the research paper usually answers the following. What are the implications of the results and trends derived from the data analysis conducted? What are and how did these factors cause such results and trends? What are the other related research that agree with such results and trends? If any indicate how these researches varied from the research, especially in terms of materials and methods used. What are the established scientific knowledge? Examples are science laws, basic facts that can explain or justify such results and trends. What are and how did these factors cause such results and trends? What are the other related research and or scientific knowledge that contradicts such results and trends? And how rather and what are the possible causes of these contradictions? What are and how did these possible errors, example unwanted factors, affect such results and, and trends? Now let's discuss conclusion. It summarizes the results of the research. It is uh, usually two or three sentences with no subsections. It should not generalize and should present only conclusion based on the result and trends discussed. Eventually, it should answer the objectives presented in the introduction. It should mention a practical application. This is an example of conclusion. From the study, echo fabric from blended fragrance, screw, pine, leaf, fibers, and cotton. Other important sections. Recommendation. It presents what else can be done to improve the research, to widen the knowledge about this research topic, and other variables that can be tested in relation to the research. Other researchers of the same interest will usually read this part to conceptualize their own research topic. Usually a short paragraph with no subsections. Acknowledgement, it includes a formal and direct message of thanks to the people who contributed significantly to the research. It usually in includes the names of the adult sponsor, qualified scientists, regulated research institute, and sponsors if there are any. Usually a short paragraph with no subsections. Biography, I'm sorry, it's bibliography. It includes all books, journals, credible websites, and all other resources that were used as reference. Citation styles must be consistent. Usual formats include APA styles, MLA styles, Chicago Manual of Styles.